me. Well, it is do or die tonight for the proposed Criminal Justice Center. Even though the plan failed to make it out of committee last week, supporters are hoping to revive it at tonight's City County Council meeting. Now our City Beat reporter Mary Mills is live downtown tonight with a look at what they plan to do to push that plan forward. Mary. A vote at tonight's council meeting. Uh, they've been lobbying those counselors viewed as on the fence, hoping to convince them that the Justice Center is desperately needed and that this plan offers the best deal for taxpayers. The Democratic controlled committee that voted on the project last week disagrees and opted not to pass it on to the full council, but it could still come up for a vote, provided that a majority of counselors allow that to happen. And that's what the mayor's office is pushing for. We welcome the further discussion on the project, and we think everyone, all 29 counselors, should have the opportunity to discuss it and vote on it on the floor. And, and I see that opinion, but this particular group of uh, committee people were asked to spend a lot of hours. I've spent over 50 hours listening to presentations, studying it myself, talking to contractors, talking, talking to financial people to see if this was a possibility that we could do ourselves and keep our money inside Indiana. And the council will vote on whether to allow a vote at the start of their meeting tonight. That's after resolutions. So I'm told we should know by 7.30 or so whether the Justice Center still has a shot. We'll have much more tonight at 6. Live outside the city county building, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.